The first question is from Michelle from Texas. Michelle, what's your question for Tim? Hi, Tim. Hi. Um, first of all, I loved all the spring fashions. And my question is, how can I incorporate those into my existing wardrobe without spending a ton of money? Very good question. For everyone out there, and directed to you, uh, I call it throwaway fashion. And throwaway fashion is inexpensive fashion that you add elements that you add to your fashion for the season. Whether, you know, the trend is pastels and brights, don't spend a lot of money on it. You want to layer in with those pieces, whether it be a pump, whether it would be a blouse, a scarf, uh, a pair of pants, you know, a great pair of um, pastel pants would be great, like a jean or something. Mm -hmm. Don't spend a lot of money on that. Keep that inexpensive, and it's just your pop of color that you want to add to your wardrobe to keep you current. Thank you. Here it is. All right, next we have Kellyanne from Orlando, uh, Orlando, Florida. Kelly, what's your, Kellyanne, what's your question for Tim? Hi, Tim. Hi. I have friends all around the country that I love to visit, especially in the springtime when the weather's feeling good. What is some advice in not looking like a tourist? Okay, this is my favorite question, because <laughs> as you know, <laughs> As you know, I travel a lot and I pack for a lot of my clients and my favorite thing to do is when I pack for myself, I pack white, gray, black, and denim. Mm. You cannot lose when you pack those four items because they're interchangeable pieces that you can put in your wardrobe. And because spring is here, add a shot of color to make it work for you and you can travel light and travel easy. Tim, you're going to definitely pack my bag the next time I go somewhere. But I've done that before, yes, not so have. much. Yes, you have. Thank no, God for you. All right, we have one more question. We have a question from Misty on Facebook. Misty asks, I'm six feet tall. I wear a size 18. I would like to find a maxi dress for me that is truly a maxi dress, not one designed for someone who is 5'7". Any suggestions? The biggest suggestion of it all, I have done this before, this is the best trick. Buy the maxi that you love. Go to the fabric store, buy a contrasting fabric to add to the bottom of the dress. That's all you have to do. You add a mm. contrasting band to the dress, you can add it to the sleeve, and you still can wear the maxi. You can get the swag, the drag you want, but you're just doing it by adding fabric mm. from your local um, fabric store. It's the me best some way to do it. Swag and drag. Keep it simple. There it is. All right, we have, uh, we have Joanna from Carson. And Joanna, you got a question for Tim? Hi. So I'm going to a lot of weddings this summer, and I don't have enough money to buy a new dress for every wedding. So what should I do? This is the best thing that I can tell you. Find a silhouette that works the best in your body in a beautiful color. One dress, and all you need to do is just re-accessorize it every time you wear it out. And then mm. you can wear it again and again and again. And that is what I would consider to be an investment piece. Okay. And that's the pieces that we want in our closet, not only in a dress, but in a pair of pants, a jacket, uh, a coat, an investment piece. And that's what you're talking about, and you can wear it season after season after season with popping it with accessories. Mm. I love it. I like that idea. How's that sound? Great. Does it sound like something you think you can make happen? <laughs> all right. Well, thank you so much, Tim. Oh, if you, you want to so find out more, everybody. oh, you're so great. Oh, I love you when you're on the show. It's spring. Put spring colors in your wardrobe. Yeah.